Hi everyone, Arjun on page today and new technique. I stumbled upon a video in Spanish <laughs> with a little bit of uh, captions uh, in English but it seems that I understood what's going on and I tried it. I want to show you how to make this kind of background and what do you know this is from magazine um, pages. So to do this first of all because I I had <laughs> I made some uh, experiments uh, before I did it and before you start whatever magazine you have you need to see if it works on them and what I'm talking about this is uh, the IKEA catalog for example and another uh, kind of magazine and you take a piece of baby wipe or a cotton swab something like that and you take headstone and you need to see if the magazine page reacts to the acetone like this and it works so you can use those kind of pages so what we are going to do is take out pages from these magazines moving them aside we are going to tear pieces out of them and this is up to you the, about the size what size do you want you want big pieces small pieces really up to you and the effect that you want to get in the background uh, for pieces that are going to be glued on the inside try to have all the edges tattered and not straight and whatever you uh, tear if you have straight edge just glue it to the outer side of your page so as you can see quite doesn't matter big small whatever you want let's start before uh, we have too much pieces so now what you have to do take white glue and a brush and let's start with the outer edges that have straight a uh, line and you only put the glue on the downside of the piece not on the top. The top should uh, be left clear because we are going to later work on it with the acetone. So this is quite a boring task and it really doesn't matter. You just glue this down Oops. I'm going to do all the pieces off camera as I said this is quite boring to watch me glue pieces especially that it really doesn't my, uh, matter where everything goes we just need pieces in the back. Now, um, another thing is that when everything is glued, you need to really be patient with everything to dry down. Even if the top, because we don't have glue, it's uh, dry, it still has glue on the inside uh, that is wet so you need to be really patient and use a heat tool if you want to fasten things along but make completely sure 
that everything is dry completely before you do the removal with the acetone because if it's not uh, dry it can tear everything and just not, 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 not uh, good for the pieces it is just flimsy magazine pieces So I'm going to continue off camera and then I'll come back. I'm back. Everything is covered. I hope it's uh, completely dry so I won't have any uh, damage here. And now I'm just taking this or we'll see. Maybe I will switch to a baby wipe. We'll see how it works. Putting some acetone on it. And... Now going over the pieces and this acetone seems to give me trouble. Let's see, I've got the other one. I think this acetone is very, very old. Here we go, a little bit better. Switching to the baby wipe, I feel like the cotton, whatever ball, what, or swab, whatever it's called, is dragging on top of the paper. I don't want it to tear, I just want it to remove. Okay, now we're talking. This is the newer acetone I have. Now there is progress. Just folding it too. <laughs> This is starting to take shape. I like it. There are pieces that has have more uh, paint on them and needs to be worked more. But you can also decide how much you want to remove and how much color do you want to stay. It's another thing that's really up to you you can go more white or more colorful with this technique and another thing is it's better to move in circles than in straight lines I keep adding acetone because acetone is, what's the word, it, it goes away with air. <laughs> I don't know the terminology for chemical reaction, so sorry, taking a new baby wipe. Evaporate, evaporates in air <laughs> oh, sometimes to find the words in English I'm not sure how how much my terminology in Hebrew is on chemistry not my thing so let's try <laughs> to try and uh, reach for it in English 
Okay, and we've got it. I don't want to remove more. I really like what's going on here. I'm going to let this dry. When you work on it, do it with open window. The acetone, the vapors are just too much. So I'm going to let this dry before I continue to the next phase. I'll be back. I'm back. So this is dry. I hope you can see the details. I, we lost daylight and all day was grainy, grayish and a lot of rain and I hope you can see the details of what's going on here and I've uh, taken out all kinds of paper napkins and for this the uh, best thing is all kinds of elements that are on white uh, background because then you can still see the details underneath not as if they are not covered but uh, better so I've it just this kind of background it, for me says it needs some blue on it and I've got this one and this one and uh, I'm going to play with the elements so first of all I am thinking of taking a place out a part of this paper napkin and I'm thinking I want on this side of my page part of and this of the flower and here I've used scissors because it's going uh, to go here on the right uh, edge but here I want it I don't want straight line so what I'm going to do is take a, a brush with a little bit of water and I'm going around the image that I want to take out just a little bit more here like so and when you have these torn edges it blends better into the background so uh, no i'm going for uh, this one is with what this is um, a <laughs> white glue with a uh, water so it's more runny and easier with paper napkins and it's stuck right now let's see oh. sometimes things don't go your way especially when you are filming okay So here we go, a little bit here and I need a soft brush spreading it around bit on the top and now with the flat of the brush from the inside outside mostly so you won't have air bubbles wrinkles I don't care wrinkles are great I like when I have wrinkles in my papers just adds to the whole thing you see how it uh, disappears in into the background when it's dry I will trim the excess of the napkin yeah or maybe I'll just tuck it underneath my page like so yeah seems to be working yeah so I've got this and I want a birdie 
So again, taking the brush, let's move this a little bit. Taking the brush, taking a little bit of water, going around. Sometimes it needs more water, depends on the quality of the paper napkin, how soft it is, so sometimes you just need to go over again to detach it. Let's see. to take out this part yeah something like that so again glue nice amount of glue here and when I'm doing things like that I will go and cover my whole page because I don't want uh, any difference between the pieces that I've glued down and the rest of it so I don't care if it goes uh, to other places I think here again from something here from the inside outside don't know if you can see it but it needs a like few brush strokes until it disappears into the background it's like until everything is soaked in so yeah and now I want something else I think I will add from uh, this paper napkin let's see I'm going to uh, take cut this piece and see if it will work on framing this page this is completely unplanned I just wanted to uh, show you how to make this background and no I'm thinking yeah something like that and again tearing like something here so glue I hope I'm in frame going to put this here just taking it a little bit I don't want it to go. oops almost uh, almost tore it yeah okay very very gently <laughs> and I'm going to use this here just spreading around and again 
just putting this here and let's see stirring it now I'm going to take this piece and no another piece I want to add this piece to go up to here so I'll just cut another one so basically I'm going with this trim uh, around the, the page and gluing it down I'll be back I'm back just a few more touches to the page I want my bird to be east there is a, some kind of branch here but it can hardly be seen I'm using this uh, acrylic uh, pen by Zig and I'm just going to go over the design that is already here only I'm doing it in this color and I'm not really concerned about being accurate or something seems a little bit better than how it looked before because now my bird is sitting on something solid <laughs> and not just floating in the air and now I want to darken the edges I've got a distress in ground espresso and I just want the edges I'm taking this I don't know the thing that you're a using for eyeshadow and with this I'm going to darken the edges I'm thinking now that maybe I will also use this uh, to add a little bit of shadow underneath my bird just to make it pop a little bit more on this page there is a lot of details here and I want my bird to be just a little bit more noticed in all these details yeah okay so underneath the bird let's see if I can do this and it's too much so I'm trying yeah let's try and smudge it a little bit more maybe I can fix it a little bit with a baby wine yeah okay Maybe 
maybe I should take the stabilo or and do the shadowing underneath but already started with this and it's quite a little detail so not really concerned and I think I'm going in a little bit more here just a little bit more shadow it what I wanted <laughs> just a little bit more yeah yeah this is it I'm leaving it be I have a feeling that anything else and I will just ruin it I'm going to bring it closer I hope you can see the details of this background I'm really loving it and now that I'm looking at it I feel like I just need a really <laughs> a small detail I have if you can see from the paper napkin some lettering so what I'm thinking is that I will take some text and let's see let's take this one with this acetate and I believe I have nautical blue by Momento and I'm thinking yeah this is it <laughs> I hope you liked it I hope you will try your hand with this kind of a uh, thing with the magazine and thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now